Hey, Gophers fans, Daniel House here. Welcome to Gophers Guru on YouTube. This is the place where I'll be analyzing film and pulling out some of the concepts you want to learn more about. Today, I'm starting with Gophers wide receiver Rashad Bateman. And if you've been over to the website and you're a subscriber, you've already read the two-part series where I analyzed every aspect of Rashad Bateman's game, including his dynamic playmaking ability in space, his route running, his contested catch skills, everything is covered. But I also wanted to do a video to dive deeper into the speed cut. I think it's one of the best routes that he runs on a consistent basis. The Northwestern game, he ran two speed cuts, including scoring a TD off one of them. And I had it noted as I was going through the all 22 cuts, and I wanted to take you inside some of the technique that's necessary to run the speed cut at a high level. Bateman executes all of the details of his game extremely well, and that's what makes him a special player. He's got all the athletic ability, but he's extremely detailed and he executes at a high level. So I wanted to pull out the Northwestern game clips and take you through some of the key technical components. So let's pull the tape right now. Here's the first speed cut example I wanted to pull out from the Northwestern game. Couple things to point out here. Rashad Bateman's lined up out of the slot. You'll quickly notice that the DB is aligned with inside leverage. So he's taking away the inside routes, all the posts, uh, glance routes off the RPOs, uh, quick slants, things like that. When you see inside leverage, that's what the DB is trying to take away and forcing the receiver to break to the sideline, maybe run a vertical release. And the Govers were so successful with the RPOs last season, the quick hitting game over the middle. Teams started to sit on these routes, so they would respond with speed cuts, post corners, different things like that to capitalize upon the fact defenses were sitting on these routes to try to stop them. So in this example, inside leverage, Rashad Bateman executes the technique at an extremely high level. First, I want to situate you within some of the glossary of terms that you need to know. First, the break foot. The break foot stops you from going in one direction. Second, the drive foot gets you going in another direction. And then the line foot finishes the route and gets you going in the direction that you want to go as fast as possible. So let's take a look at this route and identify some of those concepts. First, you're going to see right here, brake foot goes in the ground, right there. Brake foot in the ground. He's dropping his weight and pushing off the brake. His pecs are at a 45 degree angle. Then the drive foot crosses. And this is the most important component of this route because a lot of times when you go to camps and you watch some of these younger receivers or even high school receivers, they're falling over right at this point where the drive foot is coming through. And that's because you want your drive foot to stay below your brake foot and you don't want to cross the midline. Your drive foot just can't cross that midline or you're going to be immediately off balance. When you put that brake foot in the ground, you want the drive foot to come through, drive foot to stay below your brake foot, and then your line foot's going to come through right there and help you finish the route to the sideline. And Morgan makes a great throw there. Uh, he sizzles these outbreaking routes. He doesn't get enough credit for how well he throws these balls to the outside hashes. One other aspect of this route I want you to watch is how Bateman's head comes around last. And this is important for every route because if your head comes around early, your shoulders drop. So if your shoulders drop, you're basically relinquishing control of the route and not only that, but it's going to be much more difficult to have the drive foot not cross the midline. So having your head come around last is one of the most important keys of route running. And it's especially important on these outbreaking routes uh, like, like the speed cuts. And a lot of times you'll notice that the big plays that are created off of these type of speed cuts are a result of the ball being thrown late, guys circling back to the ball. This one, the timing was phenomenal. The execution was great. I just love how fluid Rashad is out of this break. Like it's just all so natural and he executes it at an, at an extremely high level. You pull this type of clip as an example to show execution of break foot right here, break foot, dry foot, blind foot, make the play. Rashad Bateman is just a detail-oriented 
kind of player with incredible athleticism and the speed cut is just one example of his execution. The next route example I wanted to pull out was a red zone one from the Northwestern game. Rashad Bateman, you're going to see right here, he attacks the DB's inside leverage. He's taking away all the in-breaking routes again. Rashad attacks here. Break foot in the ground, drive foot, line foot, boom. Morgan puts the ball in the money. And this is going to be a better example to show you up close some of the key things that make this route special. You can see when he attacks inside, the DB tries to get handsy. And he's opening his hips slightly. And you kind of get him in oh crap mode here, which is the goal of attacking that leverage. And when he reaches and, and grabs for him, it's not changing anything about Rashad Bateman's route. DB wants to put your hands on you. Go ahead. Do it. I'll wipe it away. You're going to see here he's attacking, not his elbow, not his shoulder. He's wiping away near the wrist area, which gives him more power. We talked about uh, the hand fighting technique. Uh, in the post. Uh, you'll definitely want to go check that out on the website if you're a subscriber. He wipes away, break foot, drive foot, line foot, and Morgan puts the ball on the money for a red zone TD. Again, it, it comes back to just how fluid Rashad Bateman is when he comes out of breaks. He comes in and out of break points so smoothly, and the hand technique, the ability to go break foot, drive foot, line foot, and then make a tiptoe grab right in front of the pylon, just executing all of the principles that you're looking for in the speed cut route. And I, like I said earlier, this speed cut is something that works well when teams start to sit on the slants and the glance routes and things like that, that the Gophers have so much success with. The, the route concepts open wide because they have so much success in that quick to intermediate game over the middle. The speed cut is one of the best routes in Rashad Bateman's arsenal, so I hope you leave this video understanding some of the technical components that allow Minnesota's receivers to run this route at such a high level. And I plan on doing more videos like this. Maybe we'll dive into more of Rashad Bateman's routes and discuss some of the details, but this is just the first video. I want to hear some of your suggestions. Shoot me an email. Send me a message with some of the topics that you guys want to hear about. I love to get user feedback. I have other uh, videos planned to teach you some of the concepts that will allow you to understand the game better and pull out some of the ideas that I'm talking about in my articles. So head over to gophersguru.com right now. $5 a month gets you access to all my premium content, film breakdowns, analytics pieces, features, uh, everything that you're accustomed to with some new twists that I'm going to add over the coming weeks. Ad-free experience, able to view it on mobile, tablet, desktop, optimized for all of those to create a seamless user experience. So head over now to gophersguru.com, click subscribe, go through the process, and I'm happy to have you aboard. Thank you for supporting my content. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you guys next time.